But before we do that, we got to talk about the third thing that we've debunked. And that's this paper that gets shifted inside that slab sometimes. Yeah. Why is there Kleenex in my book? What is, you know what I'm talking? Okay, Jeff, explain. So some people may not even know. So there is a, a piece of paper that is put inside two pieces, actually, in the front and the back of the book. Okay. On before the interior. Before it goes in the slab. Yeah. Before it goes into the inner well and then fully encapsulated into your not non-waterproof plastic capsule. That's right. And uh, it's called microchamber paper. So you use that because your, your paper is going to give off gases. You want it in there to help absorb that stuff so your paper doesn't degrade. And it's actually really important. I, I didn't quite understand the severity. I figured it was really important to have. But my personal collection doesn't really have that. But the more I listen to him and really describe it, I just feel stupid for not having it some books because I'm a golden age guy. That paper is old. <laughs> okay, carbon paper that you put in between the pages. Microchamber. Paper. Microchamber paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. excuse me, the microchamber paper. Yeah. Um, how important do you find that to be? Uh, in, very important. Very important. Yeah. So do you feel like it's something you should just do in your personal collection, regardless? Like, um, sure. Yeah, it wouldn't hurt. I think I th the purpose of microchamber paper is, is to absorb the acids that are inherently in the paper of the comic books, you know, because they're printed so, you know, the early stuff was printed so poorly, uh, they didn't think it was going to be a long-term, uh, you know, it's a throwaway item. So it's like full, you know, it had acid, you know, it had lignin, all this stuff in it. Um, so they, they, they continue to, they off-gas over time. And so the, the point of the papers is to absorb that while they're in the holder. <laughs> it's true, it's true. It's interesting to think about because my thought was, it may just be there as a safety precaution, but no, it's actually recommended to be in books, whether they're in a slab or not, if it's really worth it. And in this case, when you're talking about old paper, this stuff wasn't meant to last as long as we have, you know, carried it along in its in its history as collectors. I mean, this stuff was made to be read and then probably thrown out. Yeah, so don't be lazy like me. Pop open those back tabs and just throw in some paper. <laughs> oh my goodness. But it's fun to to hear that it's that there's a reason why it's in there. It's for good cause and we should encourage it to be in there and that they're working on ways to try to keep it all situated so it doesn't move at all.